Hello and welcome to Infinity. Here's a fairly easy way of very flexibly creating a detect edges uh, with the linear burn blend mode. So we start off, we hit just Control J to duplicate it, select the layer first. There we go, then Control I to invert it. And then for the top layer, if I go down here, you can see what, how it's changing, color burn. Linear burn is when it gets to go completely black. Now, that might seem fairly useless, but what's great about it, it means you change the top layer any way at all, then you're going to start seeing stuff. So I turn down the opacity, you start seeing stuff. So I could also then put in a blur. So I go down here, go to a bug Gaussian blur. I turn this up to... Around about one is usually a good start. And now I can see in here this, but this is fairly dim here. But to work on this now, I'm actually going to hit Control J on the bottom layer again, it's because this blending works with these two layers. So I'm going to shift click to get them together, Control G to form a group. Now I can do other things to this group. So, what can I do? Well, it's, it's a bit dim. It'd be better maybe black on white, so I can put in an invert. And notice I'm doing this all non-destructively now. So there's the lines. I can't see the lines very well, so I'll go to Levels. And then I'll bring up the black level, and then the lines start to appear more. I can roll into this here if I want. I could put in a black and white conversion. And also I can say, look, I've, I can see this fairly well now. Maybe I'll just go back here. Where's that Gaussian blur? There it is. And I'll turn that down a bit, so I'll get a little bit more finer lines to work with, and so on. So there you go. Very quick and easy way to, within a group, to detect edges. And you can turn that on and off easily, or just rasterize it, or do what you like with it. That's it. Thank you very much for watching.